This is BumpTop, a cool new physics-based desktop that's more like your real desk and helps you organize things more naturally. So I can toss things around and uh, they'll bump and collide just like on a real desk. And to do an action on items, I just right-click on it and select the menu option from the pie menu. So I can click grow um, or shrink. And if I want to bring up the standard right-click menu options, I just go to more and the uh, traditional windows options show up here. If I want to do um, actions on a whole bunch of documents, I just lasso around them and go into the blue circle and then choose an option. So I can choose Create Pile and it just tidies up those documents into a nice little pile here. I can also break that pile and it remembers exactly where it came from. So piles are really fluid. You don't have to worry about um, creating and destroying them. The other thing that's really nice is if you want to even quicker way to create a pile, just lasso around it and then cross the icon that appears at the center and that's just a nice little gesture for creating a, a pile. If I want to see what's inside a pile, I can do that very easily. I just double click on it and it opens up into a grid view. I can close that by clicking that red X and if I want to, um, another way of looking inside, I can click fan out and it opens it like a deck of cards and then to move something to a new place, I just drag it uh, and close it by that red X. And if I even want an even quicker way to see what's inside, I just use my scroll wheel and I can flip through it like it was a book. It's also a really easy way to add stuff to a pile. All you have to do is toss it um, at the pile and it just adds it really nicely to the top, just like in the real world. Uh, and tossing we can use in a whole bunch of places where you could, where you typically use uh, drag and drop. So for example, if I want to delete this file, I can drag it to the recycle bin or um, I can actually just toss it to the recycle bin and it's a way more fun way of deleting files and more efficient because your mouse moves less. Um, same goes for printing. So there's a printer icon here. If I wanted to print off this JPEG, I just toss it towards the printer and it asks me if I want to print it. I can actually also bundle up a whole bunch of files and toss them to the email icon and it'll fire open a new email attaching them and and you'll see it's created a new email with those files as an attachment. So a really easy way to send files uh, directly from your desktop. You can also, um, just like on your, around your real workspace, you can um, enlarge a document and pin it up if it's important and you want to remember it for later. Just drag it to the wall. Um, and you can do that for any sort of document and just use your wall as uh, a sort of separate organizational space. What's really neat is you can um, just double click on a photo if you want a better look and it zooms right to it. And then to go to the next photo, you just click this right button and uh, it smoothly zooms to the next image, which is really neat. And you can also use your arrow keys or you can use gestures to just stroke to the right and it'll advance the photo. And if you stroke to the left, it goes back to where you came from. So a really fun way to browse photos. Let me just stroke downward to zoom out. And uh, another neat thing is if you want to find files really quickly, you can also search. So if I just type in PDF, it um, finds all of PDFs on my desktop. And I can use that elsewhere as well. And another organizational tool is that I can very quickly um, make order out of a bunch of documents. So I can lasso, say, this bunch of documents and choose pile by type and it throws everything into um, piles based on the type. So these are all the photos in that selection, um, these are all the shortcuts, and these are all the PDFs. And you know, very quickly you can make order to things. If you really want to make your bump top your own, there's a way to do that too. So in the More menu, you click Settings, and you can bring up um, the bump top settings dialog. If you click Themes, you can use one of the built-in themes or click Get More Themes to go to the website and find some of our neat user-generated themes, like this one. Uh, it's called Under the Ice by Aid PSP. So I click Apply here, and you'll see that um, the textures start to change, and you've got this cool new theme here with this hand, and you can do fun things like just throw all these piles um, on the fingers. So I got five piles, five fingers. Kind of cute. Um, yeah, so... That's uh, another way you can customize desktop. Also, the, uh, these, you'll notice some of these pictures are actually rotating by themselves to uh, different pictures. And that's our digital picture frames. Um, you can create them actually linked to all kinds of web-based sources. So you can link them to uh, you know, directory of images locally, but you can also link them to a Flickr tag. 
um, on a specific word. Here we have it set to Lego, and that's why you see all these um, Lego creations. Or you can point to any photo RSS feed, uh, and that can be on popular sites like Flickr or Picasso Web Gallery or um, other various ones across the web. What's also really cool is the ability to extend this concept um, beyond the desktop. So here we have a regular um, regular sort of standard Windows view. Things are in a grid and um, so on. But I, if I click the Bump This Folder button, I can change that into the cool bump top view we were looking at before. And you'll see the, um, the folder turns into a um, view that has the same properties as you saw before, but you'll notice there's no walls here, and that's because it's actually an infinite workspace. Just like a kitchen table, you can um, you know, organically take as much or as little room as you need. Um, so we can toss all the you know, photos of, let's say, sky shots over here that have a bit of blue in them. Um, and yeah, you can really organically organize. You know, so again, you can do all the cool stuff we showed you before, throw stuff into piles. And if you want to you know, take a closer look at a photo, you can just double click on it and again get that neat little zooming slideshow and apply it to any folder across your hard drive. So that's Bump Top. We hope you have a lot of fun exploring it and uh, look forward to hearing all your feedback um, at the Bump Top uh, beta login. Thanks very much.